there's the other logo of Auschwitz. I, I just saw that before as well. Auschwitz, the castle, the Dukes of Auschwitz. So how many logos do they have? There you can see the castle. Uh, so I'm here in, in the synagogue. They, uh, apparently they rebuilt it. I'm all alone here, there's nobody here. And they have a little, a little museum right next to it. And from that side, you can just see the tip of the, of the castle. It's the castle there. So this is a little museum here. synagogue they have the same symbols as the aristocracy you know the crown and the two lions from Egypt and these two pillars there Yashin and Boaz I suppose and there again with the Ten Commandments the crown and Two sort of lions. Another one. Just like these there. So that means actually that the um, they they were the same, you know, like in any religion. They just said, well, Mr. Hitler is not going to do anything, you know. Never mind, you know, and just turn the other cheek or just go on, you know. You have to work for a couple of years in a, in a camp and nothing will happen. So these are the pharaohs. I mean, this is the religion, just like um, in the so-called European Christian world, we have the, um, the church going hand in hand with the aristocracy. And here we can see the same thing happening, really. I mean, a lion and a crown, that's pharaoh. That's the aristocracy. And um, all religions, it's, it's all the same, you know, it's all pharaoh. And they twist your head, uh, just as those rabbis, they said, well, you know, don't defend yourself, you know. And um, there were only a few who defended themselves, you know, like those uh, Bielski brothers, you know. They were good. But this is how dangerous religion is. Better stay secular. Uh, and the castle is just on the other side. It's really... There are all their books there. I mean, this is Pharaoh. This is Pharaoh's crown and the lions. You know. But this is not the people. It's the same as in the Western world. I don't even want to talk about that Pope. You know. This is like their Pope. You know. These are the priests of Amun. And the rabbi said, you know, the, um, Hitler won't do anything, just as the, uh, the, the imam, he says, well, the Jews did it, you know. They're all a pack of liars. And the Pope, he's the head of a child molester gang, you know. 
So, don't trust religion. Just don't trust them. You're going to end up in a concentration camp. Yeah. So, this is not the Jewish people. This is just the religion. The religious freaks. Yeah. Just as the European, well, Europeans, they don't, they don't want to believe anymore, you know, because we, you know, God never kept his word so far. And uh, same with these guys here. This is the same as the Pope and the same as in the, in the mosque. You know, treason to the people. They betrayed the people over and over again. It's a nice building, nice wood here. Just chilling out here. And all these religions, you know, they setting these religious freaks, you know, the leaders, the religious leaders, the rabbis and the imams and the pope, they're setting the people up against each other. The rabbi said, well, don't trust the goy, you know, they are not good and, and, you know, they're like pigs. The Pope says, well, don't trust the Jew because he's this and that, he's only thinking about money. Well, look at what the, what, what the Pope is owning, you know, in the Catholic Church and what they all with the millions, the billions they have in Switzerland, you know. So what is he talking about anyway? And the Imam, he's saying, well, the Jews are bad and the Christians, they don't trust them and, you know, just smile to them and... We have a lot of children, we wait for a time. In the meantime, you know, they're preaching revolution in the mosque. It's all the same. All these religious freaks, rabbis, popes, and imams, you know, they're, all, they're just setting people up against each other. There's no difference. So people, you know, just wake up. Jews, Europeans, and uh, Arabs and Turks, uh, Muslims, you know, just normal people wake up, you know, this, this is, this is insane, you know, stop it, you know, because this is Pharaoh, the religion and the proofs are here. The crown is here and the lions are here. This is Pharaoh, but this is not the Jewish people, you know, it's the same, you know, the it's, it says in the Bible or whatever, or in their holy books, there will be Jews who are no Jews. You know, if I look at Mr. Sarkozy, the king of France, with Sar, like in, as in the sarcophagus, you know, it's meaning the king, or Nebuchadnezzar. Um, he's both, from his father's side, he's from a Hungarian line of kings, real kings. That's why he's having the name Sar. And from his mother's side, He's, uh, he's Jewish, you know, uh, his, mo his, uh, his mother was Andrei Mala, a Greek uh, Jewish woman. So what is he now? Is he an aristocrat? Is he nobility? Or is he Jewish? I'm going to tell you what he is. Long, long, long before he's going to be Jewish in any way, he's a nobleman. He's an aristocrat. And these are the Jews who are no Jews. It's the same in, uh, in the Western culture. And all these guys, you know, like Kissinger, he's probably also nobility before he's a Jew, and Larry Silverstein, it's all the same thing. You know, they are the nobility. And it, it, it's the very same thing as with us in the European culture. The nobility, the aristocracy, they're everywhere, and they're not like us. First, they are the nobility, and then they are something else. So, why wouldn't it be the same thing with the Jews, you know? Because they also had kings, King Solomon and King David. Uh, they had a bunch of kings. They only talk about the kings as usual, just as in the Western world, you know? And this is what I like about Israel, you know, because they're secular first. They say, Auschwitz is never going to happen again. Well, good for you guys, good thing. Keep on going, eh? And just squeeze those religious freaks away in Jerusalem and keep them there locked up and, you know, don't let them open their mouth too big. They don't, they don't even want to go in the Israeli army. 
They don't want to even go, they don't even want to go into Tzal, you know. Well, so these are the fake Jews, you know. This is Pharaoh. Yeah. And that's why the synagogue is just opposite the castle. Yeah. Well, what more to say? But it's a nice place here. Yeah, there's even the world domination, as I've shown in the Pharaoh show and all over. Uh, just as on all those castles. I mean, why put that ball on it? You know, you can just leave it. Well, it has a sense, yeah? yeah. It's all the same. It's all pharaonic. The whole religion, it is pharaonic. And it doesn't do any good. Religion, you know, this religion, you know, that it, it mostly killed the Jews in Auschwitz. They didn't defend themselves. And look at the Crusades, look at you know, the Thirty Year War, you know, setting the Protestants up against the Catholics. 20 million Germans died because of this religion. And it's just another name. Christianity is Pharaoh, you know, Judaism is Pharaoh, which we can see here. And you're all seeing I, you know, on, the, on, the, on, on our sort of churches. And uh, Islam is, is also Pharaoh. Like um, Kaaba La. If you put Ka is the soul when you live, and Ba when you're dead in the Pharaonic language. And if you put Allah behind it, you get Kabbalah, the Kabbal. It's all one dirty thing, you know. Nobody has ever seen any God. You know, they worked for Mr. Hitler, you know, and said, well, go on. You know, trust them, the Germans will never do anything. Instead of, you know, they should have had the Tsar and the Israeli army then. That's what came out of it. I really wish the Jews had the Tsar or the Haganah or the Mossad or whatever. Well, I mean, it's all pharaonic led anyway, you know, but a means of defense, you know. In, in 1933 and, and just whack the Nazis, you know. But again, if you're in the Israeli army, you have to follow the general as well, you know. So, uh, who is uh, another pharaoh and another Freemason, just like anywhere else? There's no difference. Would you think, you know, the English royal house would let the Jews have their own country, you know, without having already taken over all key positions by pharaohs, by Jewish pharaohs this time, like descendants of the kings, the King Solomon and King David or whatever. We're all in the same bloody ship we are. Humanity is all in the same damn pharaonic ship. We have to get out of it. You know? That's what I'm telling you. So this bloody Auschwitz will never happen again, and it will happen again. The Swiss are building three concentration camps now, and they'll use it. They got the hatred and all. And as I've already told you, Pharaoh has many wings. They've got octagon, octagon, as you've just seen the octagon police in Auschwitz, the Auschwitz octagon police. That's a military wing. I mean, if you give these guys another order, they'll do it again as well, you know. If you don't give them any chance, like, uh, you know, it's still the same thing. Then they've got their religious wing. And the religious wing, you know, it's, I mean, it's part of Pharaoh. That means religion belongs to Pharaoh. There it is, the lions and the crown. Religion there's even a fleur de lis on it. Well, what do you know? Religion belongs to Pharaoh. Whether it's Christianity, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism. Well, Hinduism, they, they've got their caste system, you know. So, so religion belongs to Pharaoh, believe me. 
I just asked the guy who was working here if I can fill up my camera. So here in the synagogue, I'm filling up my my the battery of my camera in the Auschwitz synagogue. Thank you.